Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to safely remove liquidity from PancakeSwap. So I made this video on how to add liquidity, how to deploy a contract. There's two links in the description below, so go ahead and check those out if you wanna learn how to deploy a contract and also how to add liquidity and lock it. So this liquidity is still technically locked. It is unlocked, but it's still, my LP tokens are still on Mudra. So I use Mudra to lock. And there are a few things you need to go through before you actually just remove liquidity. PancakeSwap has some weird features that I'm going to go through. So here's my liquidity lock. So the LP tokens have been locked. So when I deposit um, on PancakeSwap the tokens and the BNB, which is the liquidity, they actually give me LP tokens, which is like a receipt. So in order to withdraw from PancakeSwap, I need to have those LP tokens. So you can see here the unlock time was 12 days ago. So I'm going to go ahead and withdraw that amount. I'm going to click the max and I'm going to pay the gas fee and those will go into my wallet. Now, a lot of people have trouble when they go over to PancakeSwap and I'm going to just troubleshoot exactly what goes on for a few people. So you actually know, because this is probably what's going to be the issue for a lot of people. So we go over to the liquidity section. Sometimes it doesn't come up. So you may have to do find another pair here just add it and manage this pool now that should come up somewhere here and we're going to go remove now when you go to remove 100 percent if you've got a max transaction or a max wallet when you go to remove it won't work also you have to always remove wrapped bnb so make sure it says receive bnb not wrapped bnb so if it says wrapped bnb it won't work then you can enable and remove from there. So if you haven't got your max transaction, go over to your contract, click right, connect your wallet, and we wanna make sure, this is my contract, obviously some different contracts will have different functions or different inputs. We're gonna go over and find the max transaction. So we're gonna make sure that's on a, a thousand. That means that pancake swap, anyone can transfer any amount, because it still counts when you take out the tokens from there. I've had it stuck where I couldn't um, engage with the contract and I had to remove 1% each time to get the liquidity out on a test. So I already had the match transaction up. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable once again, sign and I'm gonna remove liquidity from here. Click confirm and you'll see the LP vanish from here Obviously, if you've got a project running, you don't want to be removing liquidity for no reasons not legitimate. And if we go ahead and refresh, the liquidity has been removed. It also shows up on the transfers. It will come up here shortly. It's a bit of a lag with BSC scan. So the remove liquidity function is here and we can go ahead and check how much was removed. So basically one BNB was removed. Those were my test buys. Um, afterwards, you can go ahead and check on the video as well. Once that's done, you may notice that you actually haven't got the BNB in your wallet. You've actually got wrapped BNB. So go ahead and click type in wrapped BNB. And that is the wrapped BNB. So I can go ahead and swap that back to normal smart chain BNB BEP20. And then that's pretty much how to remove liquidity um, from pancake swap. I hope you enjoyed the video. You may get stuck at certain points So leave a comment below if you want quick advice. There's usually a quick fix I can just say I'll oh, click here click there. So I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, take care